Hello everyone, I hope you're staying safe, but for the next couple of labs, we will have to do them online. So uh, for this lab, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce the torque and center of mass lab. I'll give you the procedure as well, and then at the end, I'll give you the data, and that way you can go ahead, do the questions on your own, and go ahead and turn it in. So, we wanna start by figuring out, okay, say we're given this ruler, or this meter stick. We wanna figure out exactly where the center of mass is. Because it should be uniform, the center of mass should be right in the center, right at 50 centimeters. So that's theoretically, it should be right at 50 centimeters. And if we go ahead and empirically balance it like so, we can see that it's, that it's actually in equilibrium right here. So that means, for this case, the center of mass is right above wherever this pivot is. So it's not gonna be, it's not exactly 50 centimeters, not exactly right in the middle, but it's fairly close. But imagine, let's give it a, imagine we're given a more complex system. Let's say we're given a meter stick and then we have two different weights hanging off of it. So at, we have a 500 gram hanging here and we have 200 grams hanging here. There's three different ways we can actually go ahead and find the center of mass of not only the whole system, but also of just the meter stick itself, which we wanna do both in two different ways. So we're gonna start by figuring out the theoretical center of mass using just math. So the theoretical center of mass is going to be, for the system, the entire meter stick plus the hanging weights is going to be the sum of the position times each individual mass divided by the total mass. We know the total mass because we can add up the mass of the ruler plus the weights plus the clips, and we can figure out the top portions because we know where the individual masses are hanging at. So for this zone, for just the theoretical, we're going to assume that the center of mass of this ruler is going to be right at the center. We're going to make that assumption and figure out a theoretical center of mass of the system. Okay? So now, next what we want to do is we want to figure out an empirical center of mass of the system. So, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and actually hang the weights off now like so. So we have 500 grams at 17 centimeters from the left and 200 grams at 79 centimeters from the left. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put it as such. Because we know, because we know that, the, uh, <clears throat> that the total weight of the system should act through the center of mass of the system. So once we have that, if we go ahead and pretend these weights are just part of the system, the force of gravity should act right here on the system because it's balanced as such. And therefore, because it's in equilibrium, it's not going to rotate at all because there's no torque. The distance between the force of the gravity acting on the center of mass and the pivot is nothing. So there's no torque, it's in equilibrium now. So we know that these two things are true. So now we can empirically find the center of mass of the system, which is actually 36.5 centimeters from the left. You will need this one for your calculations later. That's why I put it in a box. But now, okay, great. We found the center of mass of the system, but now we want to find the center of mass of just the meter stick. So how we're going to do that is we're actually going to use the theoretical definition. So we're going to use this center of mass of the system as this right here. So we have 36.5 centimeters equals all this. We know the total mass of the system. It hasn't changed and we know each individual mass and where it's hanging on the meter stick. So we know exactly, we know everything except one piece. We know the mass of the meter stick itself, but we don't know where it acts. So that's what we're solving for. We wanna find the center of mass of just the meter stick, which should be fairly close to 50. Now, keep in mind when you're doing this, when you're doing both of these calculations, or actually all of them, don't forget to include the clips too. I'll put the, the mass of these at the end. Okay. So, once we figure that out, experiment, empirically, we're going to have a center of mass of the meter stick. Okay? We want to have just the meter stick itself. But first, we need to find the system to find the meter stick. Now, the next thing is we're going to take the same exact meter stick, and we're going to set it up like such. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna have the same weights at the same positions, 
but in this case, we're gonna put the pivot right over here. So, as you notice, if there's nothing holding up this side, it's just gonna fall down. So, what we want to do is we want to place a scale on this end that's gonna act exactly one meter from the pivot. And we know that as a shortcut, well, not as a shortcut, but just from physics, we know that the weight of the system acts at the center of mass of the system. So in this case, what we can do is an easy way to find the center of mass of the system is to go ahead and add up all these different weights. So we have the 500 gram weight plus the clip, the 200 gram mass plus the clip, and we also have the mass of the rulers, out of the meter stick. And so we wanna put those at some arbitrary XCM of the system. And we know that we can assume that all that weight acts just at the center of mass of the system, which is what we wanna find out. So, we do know one more thing though, because we have the scale, we know exactly not only at what distance the scale, or sorry, we know that the scale is exerting an upward force to keep this in equilibrium. And we know, not only know exactly how much force by reading the scale, but we also know exactly at what distance it is. So for this one, the scale reading is right here. It's 294.79 grams. So we know the force, well we can convert that reading to a force from the scale. We know the distance is acting, and we know the ruler isn't rotating at all or moving. So we know that the net torque is equal to zero. So we can use this to find the center of mass of the system. Once we have that, yet again, we can go ahead and use our theoretical definition to go ahead and find the center of mass of just the meter stick itself. Yet again, we're going to do that. We're going to do it the same way we did here. We're going to say that the center of mass of the system is equal to this. Once we go ahead and do that calculations, you should get, for all of these, you should get fairly close to, sorry, for the center of mass of the meter stick, it should be fairly close to five because obviously it balances fairly close to 50 centimeters and it's relatively uniform. So once we're done with these, we know Three different ways. We know theoretically it should be at 50 centimeters because that's where it, because the meter stick is very close to uniform. We know it empirically because we're able to balance it, find the system center of mass, and solve that to find the center of mass of the meter stick. And then we can do that experimentally using the scale, getting a reading from that, assuming the weight of the system acts at the center of mass, solving that, and then using yet again the theoretical definition to calculate the center of mass of just the meter stick itself. Okay. So, uh, let me give you a couple more data points to help you out. So, each clip is going to be 16 grams, and the mass of the ruler is going to be 134.13 grams. So, the data points you'll need for this lab is you need the mass of each clip, the mass of the ruler, you need the 500 gram mass is at 17 centimeters from the left, and the 200 gram mass is at 79 centimeters from the left. And the scale reading is 294.79 grams. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or Professor Bond, or talk amongst yourselves. But. For now, it's your job to go ahead and take this data, analyze it, and turn in the questions on the back of the lab report. Okay. Stay safe. Bye.